channel I'm Gary thanks for joining me today now in the 12 months or so since I started this channel by far the biggest uh, most watched video I've had is Jumping Jack Flash by The Stones I've also got Honky Tonk Women and I've got Angie on the channel uh, and as it's the 12 months anniversary since I started this I've decided to do another Stones track today or maybe two if I've got time we'll see so first up we're going to have a look at Start Me Up as usual we're going to get close up break the whole track down there's not a lot to this one it's a nice easy one to learn it's pretty quick it's going to be a fairly short video if you're enjoying the videos then please do give me a like uh, subscribe to the channel ring the bell you get to see new content as and when I put it out all right so the first thing we need to do on this track is get in tune it's an open G tuning in common with a lot of Keith Richards Stones songs Keith actually I think removes the uh, the sixth string, the E string. I'm not going to do that today. I don't want to cut the string off my guitar for a lesson. But uh, let's get in tune. We're in open G, so our E string goes down to a D. The A string goes down to a G. D string stays the same because that's part of a G chord. G string same same as stays the same and. B also stays the same, that appears in the G chord. And our first string, that goes down to a D as well. So we get that. Tone wise, I've got some reverb through the amp, I've got a little bit of crunch, a little bit of compression, but no other effects. I'm just going to keep it really simple, really organic, just. Uh, guitar and the amp for this one. So the track starts like this, I'll play it through and then we'll break it down. Okay, so what's happening there, I'm just barring, you're mainly playing on the middle four strings, the, the A string up to the B string, and I'm barring across at the fifth fret with my first finger. Strumming wise, you can strum, I like I think some of these chords sound better strummed up. So I'm doing a sort of combination of up and down. Just get a bit of that feel. It's very much a feel thing with this. It's a simple song to play really, but as always with Keith's stuff, there's a lot of feel into it and that's like a massive part of trying to get this track down. So I'm just doing a suspension there. I've got my second finger on B6. And I've got my ring finger, my third finger on D7. I'm just taking those on and off. Just brushing those middle four strings. All right. And that's a massive part of the song, really. Now, Keith varies the way he strums that loads through the song it's very very fluid it's very very sort of feely he probably did it different ways on different takes and you know as always with these things it's it's just about feel and rock music You're playing it live it's going to be a bit different every time but uh the first one the, the the way it appears on the track first time sounds like this <laughs> And then we just brush the open A and D strings just as a passing note, really. So there I've just moved down and barring across on the third fret, four strings, and I'm just hammering off. It's the same kind of shape. You could play it the same suspension shape as we played here, but initially it's mainly just hammering on and off this D string sort of chugging away really with the the A string so from the top we've got this as always I'm not going to go through every verse and every every single note Keith plays it differently and as I say it's very very much a feel thing but one uh, one way of playing that suspension that's kind of does stand out in the track which uh, might be worth including is this so again I'm just strumming down then catching the strings and just hammering that suspension on and off Let's 
going on there is we're playing the top half of a C bar chord just allowing for having tuned some of the strings down and we're putting a suspension on it and then we just move it down so this shape is a B flat chord so C This open tuning means that Keith can keep his life really easy, he's, he's just playing barring across all of the strings for some of the chords, so as we go into the chorus, we just play into it from the verse. So we come into it there, we've seen that before, and then we just slide up barring across at the 10th fret. I'm using my third finger because I find it easier to get back down there but you can use any finger whichever is most comfortable for you so. So you're going to do this. So that's why I use my third finger, I find it's easier. I'm just on the middle two or three strings there, sliding back from eight, seven to five. And as I did before, I'm, I'm using my third finger to slide, and then my first finger's there in place for the fifth fret. back in with the suspension again. So all together I'll just play through from the, the end of the, the verse into that chorus part and then as it goes back into the verse. part the second guitar is going to be playing more of a regular boogie woogie kind of so Keith can afford to play sort of on the offbeat so you know just play around with those uh, movements make it your own Right, so that's it, a nice piece of sort of classic sounding stones, Keith Richards guitar playing in an open tune in there. Hope you've enjoyed that one guys, it's a nice easy quick lesson. So as always, enjoy your guitar playing and I'll see you very soon. And if I've got time to do another stones track this afternoon, I'll see you very very soon. <laughs>